I guess I would say the control of having the ability to set boundaries within yeah. yourself. That is almost in a sense, here's what I thought, because at one point I challenged myself. I'd kind of just hit this, this flow with it, right? And I decided to do a 30-day hot yoga challenge. And as I was in the midst of it, I was like, you know what? Let me see how far I can really take this. And I ended up doing 66 straight days of 90-minute hot yoga classes. And I got to this point somewhere in the middle of it where I was just riding this wave because of two things. One, I'd never been that sober that long. And two, it felt like my body and my brain were at once finally connected. Like I was working through this dissociative experience that I had. You know, you mentioned the word hopeful and, and that's what I felt in that moment. I was like, I feel hopeful and a sense of joy and pride in it also that I can like reach this threshold with this experience. How much of that word was powerful for you? Because I think about the power of words and especially when it comes to the way that we think about ourselves in the world what kind of role did a word like hopeful play in this for you? Well, in yoga, it was about the only thing that I had that that word even like resonated in because I was a chronic relapser. Nobody thought I was going to get sober. Everybody thought I was getting ready to die. Um, everything I would try, it was like try and fail, try and fail, try and fail. AA wasn't working, rehabs weren't working, hospitals, detoxes, I'm leaving all of them. Um, there wasn't much hope. There wasn't, there wasn't much hope going on, not for me or anyone around me. And on the mat, that's where I found it. Little tiny sparks of, of hope. You know, one thing that, that, I, that I really recall is learning the first in my first yoga class that the teacher at the treatment center, the teacher tell me what namaste meant. And I, I'd heard it before, but I didn't really know. And she said, like, my higher self sees your higher self. And I was like, hold on. I, I got, I have a higher self. So like, I didn't know that. And like, just that thought was like, oh, okay. My old story is that I'm bad. Like, I just like, I was just like, I was just bad all the time. So this idea of like, oh, I have a higher self. I can choose to act out of this higher place. Like what would the best version of me choose? So that kind of ties back into that hopeful feeling of reminding myself. So the yoga and the, the breath and the stillness and the calm and the choice reminded me that I can do something different. I can, don't have to do the thing I always do. 